Well, a very good team win tonight. Uh, we got contributions from across the board. Uh, our defense at times was outstanding. Uh, and uh, our offense in the second half, uh, playing with only one turnover, uh, that, that's when we're at our best. Unfortunately, we had nine in the first half. But for us to come out after halftime and play that type of basketball, I think that's something that bodes well for our future. Sean, the defensive possession in the second half that led to the Stanley run out and won. I know there's a lot of defensive possessions in the course of a season, but how would you rank that one up 21 for your kids to play like that at that point in the game? Well, that's, that's who we want to be. You know, when you watch us play, you, we want you to feel like we're a hard playing together team on defense. And a lot of that is, is from really two guys. And it, obviously it's a team, but two guys on the perimeter, Rondé and TJ are dynamic defensively. I mean, who Rondé has guarded this season, how hard he makes the game on them, the fact he guards more than one player in a game, uh, that's very difficult to do. And, you know, TJ's relentless with his effort. They, they set the tone for everybody else. And then interior defense, and I've said this all along, Caleb Tarzuski is not your shot blocker, but physically and being an intelligent defender, He's an elite defender inside. So we depend a lot on those three guys to set the tone. So they got to 10 and then Gabe York gets three-pointer, three-point play, three-pointer, and suddenly you're back up to 19. That seemed like kind of the one that broke them. Yes, Gabe was instrumental in that run. It was good to see him play the way he did. Uh, he had an ankle injury a couple weeks ago. And, you know, if you've had an ankle injury, you know, all of a sudden you get cleared to play. That's only step one. It doesn't feel right. It takes some time. And I think he's at a point now where he's almost fully recovered. He looked like himself today, which, which was great for us. Your offensive flow looked really good in the passing. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? Well, when we take care of the ball and we move the ball, a lot of good things follow because we have balance. We have not one or two guys on the court who can score, but really four and five different players can score in different ways. So as the ball moves and we move, a lot of success follows. And uh, I thought we did that better today than we did against Cal. TJ scored all of your points in the first half. What called for him to not bother to take a shot? He's a point guard. Um, you know, he's the one guy that I always know is never looking up there at the scoreboard to see how many points he has. He, he doesn't care. He's the consummate playmaker, leader, winner. And uh, he's our team's heart and soul. A lot of our other players get a lot of praise and accolades, and deservedly so. Nobody's more important in Arizona than TJ. Sure, that or just more of guys? Him not shooting? Yeah. Probably he took what the defense gave him. Sean, uh, this team was so much different than it did in November. Just your thoughts on how it's kind of going and probably the right road? Well, I think we have a number of factors that make you feel that way, one of which is our young freshmen are all contributing and getting better. Dusan Ristic, if you just look at who he is out there right now and maybe where he would have been around Christmas, he's much more sure of himself. He affects the game in a positive way. You know, Parker did a really good job uh, against Stanford and Cal. And obviously Stanley's continued development to be able to play within the framework of the team and be a better practice player, grow and mature. All those things are really adding to, to our team improving. It was one of the things, Sean, for you guys to, to attack the inside for their lack of post presence. Yeah, that was our advantage in the game. And, you know, Oregon tries to spread you out, and uh, they do an excellent job to move the ball themselves. They have a number of perimeter players that can beat you. If you, if you think about the beginning of the second half, that's why they're so dangerous. In three or four consecutive possessions, they can make threes and do things because they have four guards out there. So for us to negate that, we had to be able to get the ball close to the basket, and, and we did. Is it any more enjoyable to coach against an up-tempo team, or is it just another day of an off? Yeah. Well, you know, it depends how good they are. Um, I, I really don't worry as much about the tempo. You know, Oregon pushes it a lot faster than Oregon State. That may be where you're going with that, Greg. Um, we have to adapt, you know. Uh, we can't get caught up in not liking the game because they're slower or, you know, maybe not liking the game because they're faster. But I, I think that every time you play an opponent, it requires a lot of concentration. And against Oregon State, it's about turnovers and being able to generate great shots 
not just behind the arc, but in and around the basket. They're very good at defending the basket. And defensively, being able to guard the ball, which we didn't do very well last time. Sean, what impressions did you come away with from, from Gary Payton to being that the first time you've seen him in person? Well, I think he's not only one of the, the, the better newcomers in our conference, but I, I think he's one of the better overall players in our conference. You know, his rebounding, his defense, his steals, you know, the way he can get a shot on his own, uh, he's a tremendous player. You talked a few times before the season about wanting a little more pace with this team. I mean, when you have a night like this, it's balanced. Does it make it easier to keep chemistry going and guys happy? I mean, six guys double figure. I don't understand. Yeah, everybody's touching the ball. I mean, kind of does, does, that, does that make it, it better what you're talking about as far as just the team? Yep. Yeah, I mean, teamwork is so important, and uh, we want to have that in place. But you mentioned the ball movement, but the, the off ball movement, the way the guys were kind of working the spots today, it seemed like there were how many passes, you know, right down into the post where guys were wide open. Mm -hmm. Did you see uh, that? coming to, to fruition before the game, or is that something they just kind of felt out? Well, we've emphasized that. We did not do that very well against Cal. That was a huge emphasis since the Cal game of being able to get better ball movement and player movement. The first 12 minutes of our Cal game, we were very stationary. We had a hard time generating good shots, and it was self-inflicted as much as Cal was playing hard, and they were, and they have a good defense. But we, we, didn't, we didn't test their defense. We didn't screen them. We didn't move. So we, we tried to emphasize that a lot. We were more in place. We had more flow to what we were doing tonight. Would you have a two more? Uh, you have good games against Michigan, big games against some of the other teams. But this seems like the best overall game. Would you agree? It was just big one, of, one of our best. I thought our, our performance against Utah was also very good. And, you know, Gonzaga, I mean, if you consider the opponent, you know, those games stand out because of the competition and, you know, being at home and the fact that we were able to beat such quality teams. Tonight, the margin of victory favored us, and we did some very good things. And I'm sure on Oregon's side of the ledger, maybe they didn't play quite as well as they usually do. Coach, last year you went through so much of the season unscathed that by this time in the year, there were even some wins maybe weren't, didn't jump off the page. Did getting a couple earlier season blemishes like this year than last year maybe, I don't know, jar the guys into being a little more present each and every game and, and really showing their best in every effort? You know, what I've come to realize is each season is a completely different journey in and of itself. And what a team needed a year ago, the following year, this team you can't always compare personalities. I do think that we've responded well to the two losses that we've had. We've learned a lot about ourselves in those losses. And we've learned a lot when we've won a few games. But the other thing that I'm well aware of is I, I know we were 21 and 0 last year. We're 19 and 2 right now, so it's not a whole lot different. So, uh, but losing a game before Christmas like we did, I like to think has allowed us to be a better team. There's some changes we've made defensively, uh, and learning how hard it is to win on the road. And Oregon State gave us a taste of that. Uh, maybe better prepared us for the Bay Area trip. But now we're playing teams for the second time, and that's different as well. So we have to certainly be ready for an outstanding team, coach, a team that beat us, and beat us because they played well the last time. So uh, Friday night at 8 o'clock, we're up again. Thank you. Mm -hmm.